Hello and welcome to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network special interview. Very excited to be today because joining me today is actually the current Chem Valley Wrestling Women's Champion. I'm talking about La Campiona, Cece Galaviz. Cece, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. My my pleasure. My pleasure. I was doing some research in it. It's been three years. You you were on the, you were last on the show three years ago. And I'm sorry that I made you wait that long to come back, but I'm, I'm glad you're back today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to be back. All right. Well, congratulations on becoming the first ever Kem Valley Wrestling Women's Champion. Uh, how does it feel being the first woman to hold that title? Uh, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, it's a lot of, uh, it was really exciting just waiting, the anticipation of it, the the whole build up to the match and everything. So it's uh, it's really awesome. And I'm really proud to be the first one. Yeah. Well, yeah, you actually, you defeated uh, Mili, uh to win that belt. Tell me about the match and uh, your thoughts on Mili. Um, well, uh, the match, honestly, was an awesome match. Uh, she gave it her all for sure. It was uh, not an easy match by any means. Um, but uh it was great to come out on top by the end of it. <laughs> there you go. Actually, behind you, is that the title belt behind you? Yes. That's that's, that's the title belt. It's a good looking belt. And you you definitely deserve it. I know you have um there's a there's another show coming up. Uh you'll be defending your title. Do you have an opponent yet or, or not yet? Not yet. No, I don't have an opponent yet. I know that uh the Kim Valley people have put out an, a message already that they're working on it. So okay. I'm excited to see who's next. Okay. Well, well Mealy did say she'll get you next time. Maybe uh maybe she'll you'll she'll get a rematch, uh another yeah. chance at the title. I think uh, I think she needs to put in a little bit more work, and then we'll give her that. Room. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> ouch, ouch. Okay. Uh, you also you also defeated Amelia at a recent uh, Revolution show. Um, it was a championship uh, qualifying match. Uh, so is it safe to say that you two are developing um, quite a little feud there? I, I'd say so. Um, it's uh, the start of her career, and uh, she's had a lot of CC in her life lately, and. Uh, yeah, it's developing uh, pretty good. It's great. We're, uh, we've had some good battles, so I'm definitely enjoying it. Okay, okay. Now, uh, Casey Spinelli is actually the uh, was the first Revolution uh, World Champion, and I know uh, you had mentioned that's a title that you would like to have. Uh, so is that title going around your waist one day? Are you taking that belt from Casey Spinelli? I'm definitely hoping so. I was supposed to wrestle Casey, and it never happened. So I'm disappointed okay. that that never happened. But maybe the next time I get to wrestle her, hopefully it'll be for that championship if she decides to put it up. Okay, so you're going to become uh, CC the belt collector then. You're going to be collecting the belts. That's the plan. That's okay. the plan. <laughs> there you go. So, so you must be like super excited that this whole COVID thing's coming to an end and you're able to get back in the ring in front of a crowd. Um, how's it feel finally being back in the ring uh, in, front of, uh, in front of everybody and doing what you do best? Oh, it's amazing. Uh, I definitely missed it. Um, yeah, it was uh, a really boring, dark time when there was okay. no wrestling around. I mean, um, you know, I mean, I think a lot of us got out of shape and everything. So as soon as things started to wake back up, I'm like, that's it. Got to start training again. Got back training, working out. And uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it brings your whole life up a bit when wrestling is back. It makes you be at your best basically right it brings the best out of you so yeah i'm really happy yeah i mean i think i think happy. everybody's there the fans are happy i'm happy i can go to shows again uh, so what did you do how did you pass the time it must have been like you said it was a dark time but how did you pass the time uh through this whole covid thing when there was no wrestling um honestly like i said i uh, i did end up getting a little bit out of shape because all i did was Watch TV, play video games, <laughs> not good. I watched a lot of wrestling, that was good. Yeah. Um, I mean, previous wrestling, since there okay. wasn't anything going on. Sure. But, um, so that was fun. Uh, but as soon as I, I got hints of things coming back, that's when, well, I just started working out at home type thing. Um, I mean, I was at work still, my regular job. So I was still, had that going. So sure. getting a little bit more involved at work, but... But since wrestling's back, I'm like, okay, wrestling, back to wrestling. We go in wrestling mode. All right. Awesome. Awesome. And it seems like you're in high demand. Uh, you had a hu huge match recently for Seaway Valley Wrestling uh, versus uh, Melanie Havoc and Mia Malik. Uh, I'm personally yeah. a big Mia Malik fan. Uh, so tell me about tell me about the match. Uh, your thoughts on uh, Havoc and uh, Mia Malik? 
Um, yeah, I that was my first time being introduced to Mia, and I thought she was great. It, it was uh, uh, a lot of fun having that match. That triple threat was a lot of fun. Um, Melanie Havoc, we've worked together for a few years now. Um, we worked at Gatineau Pro Wrestling. Uh, we had a big feud going on there for a while, so that was great, too. So it was really nice to see Melanie again. I haven't seen her in, well, I guess years now since COVID. And uh, and Mia, it was uh, her first match ever against females. Yeah. So yeah. that was great. That was really exciting. I didn't know that about her. So that, that made the match so much more special to me, at least. Yeah, I know. I, I spoke to her before the match. She was very excited. She was like, oh, this is my first female match. You know, she was really excited about it. But uh, um, unfortunately, you didn't you didn't win that match. I heard Melly, Melly Havoc won that match, so I, I do apologize uh, for that. But um, if Seaway Valley Wrestling ever introduced a women's, uh, women's title, I'm sure you would be uh, one of the top people to get that title. I would love to. <laughs> yeah. I did wrestle uh, on their second show too. I wrestled Nova. That was a okay. bit of a surprise. It was the last minute thing. That was a lot of fun too. I never wrestled Nova before. Um, again, I lost. <laughs> okay. But um, it was it was a good match. So definitely a good match. I'd love to wrestle her again for sure too. Absolutely. So so um, you had a triple threat match. You had a one on one match. Do you prepare any differently for triple threat matches as opposed to a one on one match, or it doesn't matter? Um, I, I guess uh, for triple threats, I try to prep myself a little bit more because they can be a bit more complicated of matches, right? So I do, um, I, I study more basically by watching old footage and old uh, triple threat matches, which I don't do as much for singles matches because I usually know what I want to do as myself, as the character that I am and what I want to do in the ring. Um, basically, I'm just looking at the opponent. Who am I going to be facing? And I'll look at their matches a little bit. But triple threat, I do study a little bit more matches for sure. Yeah. Okay, absolutely. And you released a couple of uh, really good, good uh, promo videos. Uh, seems cutting promos just come naturally for you. And you seem to have this bit of arrogance now that you, that you didn't have three years ago. <laughs> when I interviewed you three years ago, you didn't have that arrogance. So when did the, uh, when did, um, the, the arrogance CC Galavis, when, when was she born? Um, I think uh, the non-arrogant Cece Galavis uh, started to get a little cranky that uh, things weren't going her way. And uh, yeah, I basically decided to uh, make my own name for myself. And um, I'm basically just waiting for someone to come and shut me up. <laughs> okay, there you go. Uh, do you plan out each promo or do they just come to you as you're talking? How do you, how do you work on your own promos? Um, so I'll basically kind of, for example, for I have a, a match that's been announced that was announced yesterday. I'm going to be wrestling at uh, Get No Pro Wrestling. Um, okay. My last match there, I lost my championship to Persephone. And this is a triple threat match. Again, Melanie Havoc, Persephone, and myself. She's defending her championship. So the way I prep for my promos is basically um, for that, I haven't come up with a promo. I will be putting out a promo for that show. But... Um, I basically think about it since I find out that the match is announced. I think about it for a while. I don't really write anything down. I just think about different things, how I could approach it. And uh, yeah, get ready to go. Turn the camera on and see what comes out, basically. Um, but I mentally prep for it. I do come up with different lines that I want to say. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's nothing really. There's no script for it. Oh, for okay, me. yeah, yeah. That's that's what I was thinking. Do you write them out? Uh, but you do a great job. I mean, your promos are very very convincing. And you know, I I gotta say, I love the I love arrogant CC Galavis. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. I love your Facebook post where you suggested uh, people looking for a costume that they should dress up as a true hero. CC yes. Galavis. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure uh, anyone that I mean, I, I got a little nervous there. I was like, oh, I better uh, get my daughter to dress up as CC Gal Galavis. <laughs> She'll be a kick ass hero. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Great stuff. Uh, so, you're CC Galavis. There's actually another CC, CC Moss. I don't know if yeah. you're familiar with her. Are we going to get a battle of the CCs eventually down the road? CC Moss versus know. CC Galavis? I don't know. I hope so. Um, the first time I ever met her was uh, uh, maybe, I guess, about uh, six months before the pandemic, something like that. I met her at GPW on a summer event that they had. 
Um, and yeah, that's the first time I met her, but I didn't get to wrestle her, unfortunately. But yeah, um, I see she's making a lot of waves too. I think yeah. she just won the, um, I think NSW championship, women's championship. Okay. So uh, yeah, I'd definitely like to face her too, for sure. I mean, at least we spell our names differently. <laughs> yeah, no, actually she's just uh, the letter CC or CICI, but still the battle of the CCs. Uh, hopefully mm -hmm. we'll see that soon in, in, uh, in Ontario. Uh, no, I, I'm sure I asked you this three years ago, but I, I can't remember. So I'm going to ask you again, how did this whole wrestling journey start for you? Um, what, what, um, what inspired you to pursue professional wrestling? So it was all thanks to my fiance, Dale Kilburn. He's the oh, one that yes. got into wrestling. Uh, and it was uh, basically we're sitting at home just watching TV. He's flipping through channels and he stops and there's some guy in the ring talking and uh, after a couple of minutes, he turns to me, he's like, oh, sorry, I'll change it. And I'm like, whoa, wait, this is kind of funny. Let's see what this guy's all about. So that guy ended up being CM Punk, who's okay. my favorite wrestler today. And um, yeah, so I watched it with him there. Then we found out that just five minutes from my house, there was a live show that they did every week. And that's uh, Jean Care Championship Wrestling, JCW. So we started going there, started watching the live events. Eventually, they announced the school. I went, I checked it out. I was super shy to go. I okay. felt a little bit nervous with everyone staring at you. And I was like, ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it ended up being so much fun right from the first time I got in that ring. Um, I was wearing my CM Punk shirt, of course, when I showed okay. up. Okay. Uh, I was feeling a little shy to do things, but then someone, another one of the hopefuls, the students, was uh, said something about like, yeah, best in the world. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. People <laughs> cheering me. Oh, my goodness, what a rush. <laughs> so, yeah, after that very first day, that was it. I, I fell in love with wrestling and I've been into it ever since. Did, did, did you watch uh, CM Punk make his return to AEW? Did you did you watch the I Rampage did. show? Oh my, were you screaming like I was? I was up, I was screaming, pumping my fist. I couldn't believe it. It was a great I was moment. So excited to see him back. So excited. Great moment. Yeah, he's doing great in AEW. So how how's Dale? I didn't know he was your he's your fiance now. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. How's how's he doing? I, I know last time I interviewed you, I interviewed the both of you, uh, and I'm yeah. going to get him eventually. I'm going to get him uh, eventually. Yeah. But uh, how how's he how's he doing? What's he up to? Uh, he's doing great. He's uh, also definitely making waves lately, coming into his own as well. Uh, he's been putting out some really awesome promos. I don't know if you've seen them lately, but I think his promos are killing it right now in the okay. game. I think uh, I think he's definitely one to watch for because his promos are out of this world. So I will, yeah, I will. No, he's doing great as well. Yeah, That's we good. both been training with Tyson Dukes for a little while now, so both of our actual skills as well as wrestlers have improved a lot since training with Tyson. So yeah, we, we've come a long way. Oh, so you train, you guys are training with Tyson Dukes right now. Yes. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. He's, he's a tremendous talent. I hear he's a yeah. tremendous teacher as well. Yeah. We started training with him. Uh, I think at end of 2019, which is uh, when we moved from Quebec to Ontario, as soon as we got to Ontario, we had to hit up Tyson Dukes. <laughs> there you go. There, the rest is, is it still the wrestling factory? Or is it um... um so no the wrestling factory shut down when the pandemic hit. Oh, okay, so okay. We still go see him for training. Oh, okay. Him personally, yeah. Okay, there you go. There you go. Uh so I think the last time you're on, I think I, if I remember you said your dream opponent is CM Punk. Is he still your <laughs> dream opponent? Is still you still still your dream opponent, CM Punk? Oh, I'd love to for sure. Yeah, that'd be amazing. I'd love to <laughs> wrestle CM Punk for sure. <laughs> Anybody anybody else that uh you would love to get in the ring with? Uh, you know what? I've been thinking a lot about her lately, um, and I love that uh, she's got a, a match coming up at Impact, but Mercedes Martinez, um, okay, I, yeah. I had the chance of meeting her. At, uh, I did a seminar at Shimmer, and uh, she was basically one of the coaches that gave the seminar, and I, I knew who she was prior to that, but after meeting her in person and um, her skills that she has, again, with the grappling, it's amazing. Uh, and uh, yeah, ever since meeting her, I'm like, man, I want to wrestle this woman for sure. I'd love to get a chance to wrestle Mercedes Martinez for sure. That would be a great, but there's a little size difference between the two of you, though, isn't there? I think she's. Oh, like, yeah, she's <laughs> she'll probably destroy me, but I still want it. <laughs> no, yeah, still one on one. Uh, you could defend your Kim Valley title against Mercedes Martinez. Uh, that, that, that'll be uh, that'll be exciting. That'll be exciting. Um, 
Yeah, so we'll see. Do you think she's going to be the next Impact Wrestling uh, Knockout Champion? That'd be awesome. That yeah. would be awesome. I would love to see that for sure. I mean, uh, even when I met her, she hadn't gone to WWE yet because she was in WWE recently as well. Yeah. And uh, I mean, because I believe she's in her late 30s. She was already kind of like, well, you know, it's I, it didn't happen type thing. You know, I didn't get up there. But I mean, she definitely is. And I'm really hoping she wins that Impact Championship because, uh, yeah, she absolutely deserves it. I think she's one of the best female wrestlers out there for sure. Yeah, I think you want her to win that title because I think you want to defeat her for it. I think you want to be the Impact Wrestling Knockout Style Champion. Is that a, is that a goal of yours? <laughs> there you go. Is that a goal of yours to get the Impact Wrestling Knockout Style? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Okay. I definitely want to go to Impact Wrestling. Absolutely. Yeah, I think you would fit in really nicely there. I mean, the knockouts division is, I think they have the best uh, women's division right now uh, in I all wrestling. I think they have for the past uh, at least a year, maybe two, because I, I absolutely love some of the women they have. Sue Young is another one of my favorite wrestlers. I think she's amazing. I mean, Tessa Blanchard was killing it in there before the yeah. whole pandemic thing. Yeah, um, yeah no, their women's uh, roster is incredible. I would love to be part of that roster for sure. Yeah, and you will be. You will be one day, CC. You definitely will be. Uh, mm -hmm. So I have three names, three names of um, the top uh, women wrestlers in Ontario, in my opinion. And uh, um, maybe I I'll say the names and maybe you could give me a, uh, your your thoughts on them if you know if that's if that's cool yeah, alexia nicole alexia i had the pleasure of wrestling her once at okay. camp valley wrestling okay. and uh, she beat me <laughs> but uh no she's great too i uh, i'd love to wrestle her again maybe she'll come back to camp valley again and we can have another match um but uh yeah she's uh she's another one that's for sure i i would definitely have to put her in the top three ontario female wrestlers for sure yeah Absolutely. Um, I noticed that um, if when we're talking about female wrestlers, if they beat you, you're kind of saying uh, she beat me. Uh, you're kind of saying like she beat me, but I'm going to get them next time. That's kind of what I'm kind of. Uh, that's what I'm getting from from the tone of your voice. Like she beat me, but I'm going to get her next time. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think it's uh, back to um, done with the humbleness thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. it's, there we uh, go. Time, yeah. time and it's time to rock this and time to make it into your top three uh, Ontario for wrestlers for sure. There you, there you go. Uh, what about Lufisto? Lufisto. Lufisto, she's excellent. Um, absolutely. I mean, she's a vet. She's um, uh, to me, arguably, she is our top. Um, Canadian female wrestler in the Indies right now for sure um, she's, uh, she's been killing it for years she's still killing it today um, I've never had the pleasure of wrestling her yet I'm really hoping that that's going to happen soon we both seem to really want to wrestle each other in the last uh, well since the pandemic ended um, but it was um, I got to go and have a, a seminar with Bruce Hart and okay. with her as well and the chemistry that we had when we got in the ring was excellent. I, I would love to wrestle her any day because I think our chemistry would be fired for sure. But us together against each other in a ring, I think that's just magic waiting to happen for sure. Okay, fair enough. And Jody Threat, Jody Threat. Jody Threat. Oh, I would love to wrestle her too. Um, <laughs> with her, I, I haven't had very much experience at all. Jody Threat, I've only literally just said hello and that's it in passing. Um, but I mean, I've been watching her for a couple of years and she's also incredible. I've heard nothing but great things from anyone that's ever wrestled her. Um, she's uh, someone that's very technical and that loves to help out the new guys and girls. Um, so definitely I have a lot of respect for Jody Threat. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to one day have a match against her because that's another one that I'm like, oh man, I'm just waiting. I, I hear all this good things about technical wrestling and that's something that I feel we're lacking a little bit in the women's division. There's not a lot of grappling technique and stuff like that that we're lacking a little bit. And I hear that she has a lot of that to bring to the table. So I would love to have an opponent like that, that I can really do a lot of grappling, wrestling, technical wrestling match. I would love to face her with that. 
That would be a great match as well. And funny story about Jody Threat. I uh, was at a live show. Uh, she was coming down the aisle. I put my hand up to give her a high five. And she just reached back and gave me the hardest high five I ever had in my life. I thought my arm was going to pop out of its, uh, my shoulder was going to pop out of its socket. Uh, but I uh, know she's a great, great talent. And I'm sure you'll get a you'll get an opportunity to face her one-on-one. Um, maybe even for that title that's behind you. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure a lot of people want that title. Uh, and um, uh, maybe one day you could uh, defend it against Jody Threat and you will win you will you'll defeat jordy threat um one more one more um she doesn't wrestle in ontario um maybe you're familiar with her she wrestles out of the maritimes a chantelle you familiar with chantelle yeah yes i've uh, i've only once again it's kind of like jody i've only just met her in passing just the hello yeah. for a hello and that's it um but i did watch her match she wrestled lufisto at sbw on their last show yeah. and uh, it was a great match i mean she looks like a solid opponent too uh i mean anyone that really goes up against lufisto and puts that good of a match up against lufisto it's it, it says a lot about you um, so yeah, Chantel is another one that I absolutely love to wrestle. I think um, she's been up in uh, northern Quebec, which is where I made my start. But then she went after I had already moved out of Quebec, so okay. I, I didn't I didn't get to interact with her at all. But uh, but yeah, that's another one that I think it's a, a rising star for sure. Oh, that'd be another great match as well. Uh, now you wrestle a lot in Canada. Um, you plan on wrestling outside of Canada? I know the whole COVID thing, it might be tough to get over the border, uh, but are you thinking the United States? Are you thinking maybe Japan, the UK? Um, what's what's uh, what's on the horizon? Where, where are you looking to wrestle outside of Canada? Yeah, so um, before pre-pandemic, uh, I had wrestled at a couple of places in the US. I uh, wrestled for Monster Factory a couple of times because I've gone there a lot of times doing seminars and stuff like that. So I wrestled there a couple of times. I would love to go back. I think uh, Monster Factory is definitely one of the top schools um, worldwide, really, for wrestling. Um, so I'd love to go back there again, do some training, have some matches again. That'd be awesome. Um, we also, uh, it's we, I'm talking about Dale and I, we yeah. also wrestled that uh, in New Orleans. That was amazing for Elevate Pro. Um that company, I believe, changed hands at one point, and the owner is Brittany Hogan. Sorry, okay. I mispronounced her name, but okay. I'd love to go back to her uh, promotion just because it's the trend by women. I mean, I'd love to go back to her promotion, wrestle there again. I had a great time. I wrestled Hyann there. Um, she's from RH, um, and that, that was an awesome time. And uh, also uh, Rocky Mountain Pro over in Denver, Colorado. Um, that's one promotion that, again, I wrestled there before as well. And um, I think that their production, their shows look amazing. So I would love to go back there as well, have another go at it out there for sure. Um, but other than the U.S., uh, honestly, I, I'd like to maybe someday get some Mexico experience in okay. there as well. Uh, I mean, I've seen a lot of people that have gone down there and come out like a million bucks, right? Um, I'm thinking of Taya Valkyrie when I say that. I mean, she was down there. She's massive. She's still huge. And yeah, um, yeah I think Mexico had a lot to do with that, with that uh, coming out of hers, really. So, yeah, that's another one that's in my thoughts. <laughs> there you go. What about Japan? Like uh, possibly stardom or something? Uh... Would, I would absolutely go to love to go to Japan. Um, I went there just on vacation once, and I okay. completely fell in love with the country. I think Japan's okay. a beautiful place. And, oh, man, if I could do, like, one of those uh, six-month contracts or anything with stardom, I would love to for sure. Fly down there and live there for, like, six months, I would love to do that, yeah. All right, and um, you mentioned that you you've went you've gone to a lot of seminars uh, yeah. as a, as a wrestler. What do you? Uh, I'm not familiar with uh, the seminars. What do you What do you um, learn when you go to these seminars? Or what do you What do you, or what do you hope to learn when you uh, attend all these seminars? Um. So I really enjoy like throughout my whole career. I, I've never been tied down to one school. I've always wrestled and learned from multiple coaches. I think uh, the best way to become a proficient wrestler is to have all this different experience from everywhere. And seminars are great for that. Seminars usually, not always, a lot of times it is only one coach, but I've had the the fortune, I guess you can call it, that, for example, Monster Factory, they usually have at least three different coaches in there. I've, uh, I've gotten 
some really good experience from a lot of people. I mean, I got to meet Les Thatcher. Um, oh, wow. I got to meet the Rock and Roll Express. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, I've learned from some serious, like, great minds of wrestling. Uh, ROH, I've got to learn from Delirious some different things. There's a move that I do to this day that I learned from Delirious. Um, so I guess what I really expect to learn when I go to all the seminars is basically get a little bit of everything, right? Get experience from first different generations, right? I mean, Les Thatcher and Delirious are completely different generations. They both have something great to give. So yeah, it's just getting all the different experience that you can and making all the right connections as well. Massive thing about, uh, uh, about seminars, right? Again, Shimmer, I got to cross paths with some excellent people like Mercedes Martinez, Medusa, I got to meet Medusa as well um, and get personal one-on-one -on -one advice from these people. Sue Young from Impact as well, I got to wow. have. Wow. And Tessa Blanchard actually, um, produced or not produced but she helped out with the match that I did for Shimmer she was actually the person that watched and said okay maybe let's tweak this let's fix that so it's uh seminars to me are definitely I'm a big seminar pusher anyone that wants to keep being getting better and better at wrestling to me first I don't think you should ever quit going to a school I think you should keep training as much as you can and uh, second, seminars. Seminars are amazing. They, they're they uh, a wealth of experience and a wealth of connections that you can make. That you'll meet someone at one seminar that's from maybe Calgary. Hey, next thing you know, you have a match in Calgary. Why not, right? So, yeah, big promoter of seminars for sure. All right. Do you think you'll be hosting a seminar one day? Um. I mean, I'm nowhere near retirement. Okay. I don't even cross my mind. Okay. Um, and I feel like maybe I think uh, I, I should be a, a more experienced wrestler to really be giving seminars. I mean, I think I do have a lot of advice to give, like rookies and stuff, that I can help out for sure. But I don't think I'm quite at that level yet. I think that to be giving seminars, you should really be – in the vet bracket and i don't consider myself a vet by okay. any means yeah okay well, one day one day one day you'll get yeah. there one day you'll yeah. get there. i think i would love it I, I think i'd really enjoy doing it someday later down the line for sure okay fair enough so what do you think is the main difference between cc galavis in her first match compared to cc galavis right now sitting there talking to me <laughs> um <laughs> i think First match, Cece Galavis was uh, a very nervous, very scared girl. <laughs> okay. um, and uh, actually, you know what? I'll give you my funny story of the very first time I ever got in the ring was probably the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me in a ring. Okay. And um, <laughs> I was uh, the pumped Cece Galavis that I am, all excited. <laughs> so... It was a mixed tag match, and my partner was like, why don't you start the match? He was in the ring, and the other girl got in, so he's like, okay, you start the match. So I climbed over to the top turnbuckle, and I jumped into the ring, and I fell right on my butt. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, from there on, the entire match, I'm just terrible. No, like, oh, my goodness, the crowd, they all just watched my debut. That was terrible. Um, but you know what? Today... If that happened to me, if I get in a ring and I pull that off and I fall on my butt, I would probably somehow make it work and be like, I intended to do that thing. There you, you go. Laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> so that I would say is a big difference between the old CC and new CC. <laughs> there you go. There you go. A lot more experience and a lot more arrogant. I think you're a lot more arrogant now than you were, were then as well. Uh, in Absolutely. The race. Absolutely. There you go. Uh, now, uh, your, your character, not, not you as a person, but your character. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah. you're you. CC Galavis is the person that arrogant. I don't want you coming after me. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you, you actually mentioned earlier uh, you have the huge match November twenty seventh. Uh, now, forgive me here. Can you help me out with the champion's name? Is it per Persephone Vice? Did I pronounce that right? Persephone Vice. Persephone Vice. Okay, I apologize. I apologize, sir. Uh, defending against you and uh, Melanie Havoc. Uh, so, your yeah. thoughts on that match, and do you think you'll be walking out with the title? Um, so thoughts on that match. First of all, it should be a one-on-one -on -one match to me because okay. right before the pandemic, I lost that championship and I have okay. not gotten a rematch. Okay. So, <laughs> so really I should be getting a rematch and that should be a one-on-one, -on -one. but that's okay. 
we'll let Melanie have her spot too. Mm -hmm. So it's a battle of the champions. Melanie is the first ever uh, GPW champion. Um, okay. She lost the championship to myself. And so, I mean, if you take the pandemic out and the fact that Persephone hasn't been able to defend it yet, to her advantage, technically, if you take that out, I'm the longest reigning champion. Um, so there's that I uh, got yeah, going for me. But uh, I'm very excited for that match because I absolutely expect to get my championship back and put it back there with that other one that's okay. going on. So you're gonna yeah. be CC, you're gonna be CC two belts then. That's it. That's there it. Until I get the revolution one too, it'll go right up you'll, there. You'll be the belt collector. You'll you'll be the the, the, the Kenny <laughs> the Kenny Omega of Ontario. You'll be the belt the the belt collector. Uh, <laughs> so any other matches coming up besides uh, the twenty seventh? Uh, nothing uh, officially announced yet, and. Uh, I don't have a date yet, but I should be getting both a date and an opponent for that championship back there, okay. Camp Valley uh, Championship, and it should be sometime in January, and I'm very excited to see who uh, decides to throw in their name for the running, so okay. we'll see. Maybe one of these great women, I know that um, uh, when they put out the announcement that they're looking for an opponent, I know that uh, Lufisto's name came up on oh, one wow. of the women. So I was like, hey, by all means, bring it on. That bring it on, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I might just drive up for that one. I might drive up for that one. So, uh, yeah, so. Uh, it's a really exciting match, no matter who it is. Yeah, no, whoever, I'm sure, whoever you face, I'm sure uh, uh, you're going to keep that title and it's going to stay right where it is, um, right on your right on your mantle back there. Uh, it's going nowhere. It's going to stay around your waist. Uh, so um, what are the plans for 2022 and beyond for, for CC Galavis? Uh, just honestly, keep going, keep kicking butt, keep collecting shiny things, and uh, <laughs> keep bringing up that name until, you know, Impact gives me a little holler, and off I go to Impact. <laughs> there you go. So is that the ultimate goal, to get to Impact Wrestling? That's that's the ultimate goal? Uh, currently, I would say so, yeah. yeah. Okay. Impact, is, uh, it's got my sides right now, for sure. Um, I was definitely uh, big on ROH for a long time. I yeah. got to do seminars with them, so it's really like, come on, ROH, ROH. And unfortunately, what's going on right yeah, now with ROH, yeah. so I'm like, all right, Impact it is. And I mean, <laughs> Impact is uh, pretty Canadian, too, as well. So yeah. it, honestly, I feel like I should have focused more on Impact from day one, because I think that's a company that's... Like I said, the women's roster in Impact is amazing. I would love to be part of that roster. What about MLW? MLW is trying to build up their, their women's roster as well. Yeah, um, honestly, uh, I'm just excited to see all of these companies that are yeah. like women's wrestling is really starting to uh, come up. So honestly, I am absolutely excited. I'm willing to go anywhere, travel as far as wrestling takes me, really. Anywhere that they want to go, I'll go. and. Um, I actually got uh, some messages from some people in Venezuela too that want to hit me up, do some interviews. And I'm like, hey, maybe interviews will lead into wrestling and I get to go wrestle in Venezuela. That would be amazing. That would so, be great. Yeah, that would yeah. be awesome. Uh, so before we wrap this up, before we wrap this up, is there anything you want to plug? Any social media? Uh, if somebody wants to get other, or their t-shirts, if they're merchandise, if anybody wants to get uh, CC Galavis merchandise, uh, if it's available, how would they do that? So um, just... Uh, Definitely show up to the shows. I always have merchandise with me. Okay. And I also have some t-shirts coming soon. Um, but uh, you can find me in all three platforms, in Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, CC Galavis, D-I-C-I-G-A-L-A-V-I-S. And um, yeah, you just send me a message. We can talk and I can absolutely mail merchandise anywhere. It's no problem. Do you have uh, eight by tens? Do you have a uh, can, can it, if I want to get an autograph eight by ten? Do you have those for sale? Because I, I got I, I'd have to put it up. I want to I want to add it to to the the background here. Perfect. So, I have right, a few, so, so you'll have plenty to choose from. All right, cool. So I'll uh, I'll I'll hit you up for one of those. Uh, do you, I'm sorry. Do you have t-shirts? Did you have t-shirts as well? Uh, not right now, but I okay. do have the design. I just got to get them printed. That's all. Okay, there we go. There. So once you get the t-shirts, if you need a t-shirt, please hit me up too. <laughs> okay, I will hit you up as well for a t-shirt. So, Cece, thank, thank you so much, so much for joining me today. Uh, one thing I, I can I can tell is that you are very confident uh, in professional wrestling. I I, I don't I you were, when we spoke three years ago, I don't think you were as as confident as you are now. I think that is that fair to say or. 
I, I, I agree with you. I think okay. so. I think um, uh, the new CC with the new attitude, yeah. I think has uh, come, come brought me a long way, I guess. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I'm a lot more confident for sure. Absolutely. For sure. Well, well, I was going to say, um, you know, winning the, winning that Kim Valley championship, wanting to get the impact. I have no doubt that uh, your impact wrestling dreams will come true. Uh, just keep up the great work. Uh, I know you're getting uh, booked like everywhere now. Uh, I've watched many of your matches. Uh, you're just getting better and better and better. And all I got to say is keep up the great work and uh, you will get the impact wrestling and that knockout title will be around your waist one day. Awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate the boost of confidence. Yeah, my pleasure. Anytime you want to come back, just feel free to ask. Uh, you're always welcome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for having me, too. My pleasure. My pleasure. Well, this has been the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network special interview. Again, want to thank my guest, the Kem Valley Wrestling Women's Champion, CC Galavis. Until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.